It's hard to tell who's more excited about marijuana legalization, the marijuana enthusiasts or the folks who expect to make money off it. I figure it this way. Dope's going to be legal in a few years. So. Yeah. And then I'll be, you know, it'll be a legitimate job, you know? Yeah. Talk about a job. We'll have a job. That's good thinking, man. Hi, everyone. I'm Mark Lichtenfeld, Chief Income Strategist with the Oxford Club. Welcome to State of the Market. And don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another video. Currently, there are 17 states where weed is fully legal. In fact, there are only six states where marijuana is not legal at all. Now, come on, Tennessee, stop being such a bunch of squares. Don't be a... Investors have reefer madness, and they see that Sticky Icky is a big moneymaker. Oh, dear. If you want a good smoke, try one of these. <laughs> So how can you make money off jazz cabbage? Most investors who are investing in marijuana are hoping that they strike it rich, that they have a winning lottery ticket. They're going to hit a home run. But we know that most home run hitters strike out, and they strike out a lot. Now, when I invest, I like to do it the smart way. I want to get paid while I'm either waiting for the price to increase or while that price is rising, but I want my dividends. I want it now. But legalized marijuana is such a new industry that there aren't many companies that have the consistent cash flow to pay a dividend. In fact, there's just one. Innovative Industrial Properties, ticker symbol IIPR. It's a San Diego-based real estate investment trust, or REIT, and it provides real estate capital for the marijuana industry. It has 50 properties in 17 states, and these properties are used as grow houses for the medical marijuana industry. In 2020, Innovative Industrial Properties generated $97.8 million in Adjusted Funds from Operations, or AFFO. Funds from Operations is a form of cash flow that's used by real estate investment trusts. Now, Innovative Industrial Properties, AFFO, grew 180% in 2020 over 2019. During 2020, it paid $87.4 million in dividends, so it can easily afford its payout to shareholders. The stock pays a quarterly dividend of $1.32 per share, which comes out to just under a 3% annual yield. Innovative Industrial Properties has been a publicly traded company since 2016 and has paid a dividend since 2017. In fact, it's raised its dividend 10 times since then and in eight of the past nine quarters. So it's got a fantastic track record, even though it's a little bit short. Lastly, what I like about this company is it doesn't depend on a good crop or distribution or high marijuana prices. It doesn't sell marijuana, it doesn't package it, doesn't distribute it. It simply provides the real estate for others to run their marijuana business. It's the ultimate picks and shovels play. Now, picks and shovels refers back to the gold rush when prospectors tried to strike it rich searching for gold. Most of them didn't, but the folks that did make money were the ones that sold them the tools they needed, like picks and shovels. So they made money no matter which prospectors actually cashed in. Ever heard of Levi Strauss? I'm sure you have. He made his fortune selling denim to the gold prospectors. And today, his descendants are billionaires. So when it comes to weed, crypto, or other speculative assets, I look for the companies that are selling the tools and the services that those speculators need. That way, my company makes money no matter who strikes gold or who strikes out. Innovative Industrial Properties is one of those companies. They generate tons of cash flow and they pay it back to shareholders in the form of dividends. So if you're going to invest in the pot, I suggest you take a look at Innovative Industrial Properties and at least get paid a dividend while you're holding the stock. All right, that'll do it for State of the Market. I'm Mark Lichtenfeld. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next week.